Victory! Uh, 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 it's nothing short of a miracle that a sequel as well made as Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 managed to arrive just two years after the original. This second attempt at a Nickelodeon-based platform fighter is a massive leap forward from the first, with a more polished feel, more vibrant characters, and the coup de grace, its envelope-pushing slime meter. Comparisons to Super Smash Bros. can cast an obnoxious shadow over this genre, but the only other platform fighting sequel I've seen improve, rework, and refine what came before it to this impressive degree was the legendary Super Smash Bros. Melee. As a huge fan of both platform fighters and Nickelodeon cartoons, I was very disappointed by the original All-Star Brawl in 2021. The animations and sound design were flat, most of the characters felt samey, and it was just mechanically unrewarding. All-Star Brawl 2 takes nearly every one of those complaints and inverts it. Combos are deeper, hits feel more substantial, and movement strikes a much better balance between speed and precision. Most exciting of all, its excellent cast of characters shine thanks to their more diverse playstyles, improved models, and well-acted voice lines delivered by many of their original voice actors. Every animation and attack cleverly references something from the original cartoon shows. For example, SpongeBob's neutral weak Ariel is a pose he does during the Goofy Goober rock scene from his movie. Ren and Stimpy throw out the iconic log from their show's parody commercials, and Aang rides around on his signature ball of air. These referential movesets aren't just hollow either, with most characters having different game plans, specialized meters, and other bespoke mechanics that add a fun, necessary level of diversity. SpongeBob may be more of a floaty all-arounder, but the difference is clear compared to Reptar's devastating damage, heavy-hitting combos, and momentum-based movement. Meanwhile, Garfield relies on a ridiculous lasagna meter becoming faster and stronger once it's filled up. Got it. It's really hard for me to talk about all these different characters without going on an overexcited rant about each and every one. While it's a little weird to see main characters from their own series not show up, like having Grandma Gertie from Hey Arnold, but not Arnold himself, they all offer something unique and interesting. Zim is a puppet character now. The Angry Beavers function like a tag team from a more traditional 2D fighter, and Plankton is this weird mix between a grappler and a zoner, with ranged grabs and wonky projectiles. It took me forever to find a main in the previous game because I just couldn't find a character that stood out to me. But it's taken me a long time to find one in All-Star Brawl 2 because I like so much of its cast that much. This is the kind of cast that puts a fighting game into the next stratosphere. No matter which character you choose, you'll have access to All-Star Brawl 2's greatest innovation, the slime mechanic. I cannot overstate how much style and finesse slime adds to this game. With just a single button press and a sufficiently filled slime beater, you can add extra power to any of your special moves, boost your air dodge, cancel out of free fall after using your recovery, boost that recovery further, cancel out of any moves ending animations, and even escape enemy combos. Versatile, easy to manage, and well-balanced, Slime is an effective tool no matter what character you're playing as or how good you are. Slime also grants characters the ability to do a beefy ultimate attack, complete with goofy mini cutscenes like what you might expect from a Final Smash. What's with these guys keeping me away from food and sleep? Nice. Cool as they are, these cutscenes do sometimes pierce the veil of All-Star Brawl 2's otherwise strong art style. Not all of them take a dip in quality, but look at Ang Super, for example. It seems like some of these models just weren't designed to be seen this up close and personal. Slime's wide range of uses may sound overwhelming, but this mechanic blends naturally into the ebb and flow of All-Star Brawl 2's combat. It takes the mechanical complexity granted by special meters and some other games and combines them with the approachability of Smash Bros. The addition and its implementation are ingenious, setting this sequel apart in the genre without alienating the party game ethos at the beating heart of it. In fact, it slots so naturally that I wouldn't even be surprised to see imitators crop up in the next few years. Lowering the barrier of entry on those more complex techniques while also adding depth makes the impossible suddenly feel possible. And I keep finding myself searching for the next rule I can use slime to break. It's a gripping push and pull that I've never experienced in a game like this. Who are you? Did you take Patrick? As if to further tout its illustrious voice cast, All-Star Brawl 2 also has a roguelike campaign mode. 
The story is just connective tissue written so that our favorite Nicktoons can interact with one another, but it does make for some fun moments. It all has the same energy as a crossover episode during a Saturday morning cartoon block, like Danny Phantom's Clockwork and SpongeBob talking about whether or not Patrick has a brain. He has gained the power to control the mind of any intelligent being, as well as your Sea Star friend. The campaign is where All Star Brawl 2 takes the most direct cues from Smash Bros, incorporating themed battles and events based on the characters and stages available. Each run does a pretty good job of rotating between different game modes to keep you on your toes and prevent even highly experienced platform fighting fans from floating through its fights. After completing enough levels and passing through the occasional shop or upgrade area along the way, each with special guests like Powdered Toast Man, you'll take on a boss fight against an iconic villain like Shredder or King Jellyfish. Boss fights aren't anything too novel, but they're still fun. The upgrade systems and randomly generated nature of the campaign help to keep things fresher than they would otherwise. Unfortunately, this is no Hades or Slay the Spire. It's a completely serviceable roguelite, sure, but there isn't much compelling beyond what's already fun about All-Star Brawl 2 elsewhere. I never felt that gambling sensation that comes from balancing risk against reward in a good roguelike, nor did I get that nagging one more time feeling after a run gone wrong. How oh good! Another butt to kick! There's also an arcade mode, which uses the same challenge level types found in the campaign and mashes them up with specially themed fights, like teaming up with SpongeBob to fight Plankton. It's a big improvement on the original All-Star Brawl's much shorter, less curated arcade mode. I just wish it had more going on to distinguish it from the campaign. Claws. Surprisingly, the training mode is far and away the crown jewel of All-Star Brawl 2 single player options. This is probably the best training mode I've seen implemented in a platform fighter, with impressive options I'd usually only expect to see from fan-made mods. That includes hitbox visualization, knockback trajectories, an input display, and even frame data. It's still years behind those found in traditional fighting games that feature character-specific trials and tutorials, but it's quite impressive for this genre. Online play is another competitive feather in All-Star Brawl 2's cap. I haven't been able to play ranked matches during the pre-release review period, but online lobbies with both friends and strangers work really well thanks to its buttery smooth rollback netcode, a must for any contemporary fighting game. I did have a few problems playing online with friends who weren't updated to the same game version as me, though. While it boggles the mind that there weren't any failsafes for that kind of thing, it was the only issue I ran into with online play. After patching the game and hopping back into the fray, the gap from Chicago to Los Angeles suddenly closed and it felt so smooth that my friend might as well have been there on the couch next to me. Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 finally lives up to its name, standing out as an all-star platform fighter. Not only is it a fantastic sequel that takes the criticisms of the first game to heart and sends them to the blast zone, it expands way beyond those adjustments. Decent, if samey, single-player options with a good amount of challenge, a training mode clearly made by people who know exactly how to construct a platform fighting laboratory, and stellar net play bolster a supremely fun fighting system. The excellent new slime mechanic then elevates it to a new level by introducing a huge amount of creativity to every single character in its impressive roster without making it unapproachable for the party game audience. Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 belongs among the greats of the platform fighting genre. Clear the road! Turtle Shell Drift! For a different kind of fighter, check out our review of EA Sports UFC 5, or for a different kind of party game, our review of WarioWare Move It. And for everything else, you're already in the right place on IGN.